What's going on everyone? Steven here. In this video I'm going to show you how to give yourself infinite health in Cyberpunk 2077. So the first thing you want to do is scan for your health. Um, and I have a hundred there so uh, what you want to do is select your value type as a float because it's not four bytes. I know because I tried searching for a four byte value initially and uh, none of the ones that I found were health. So then I tried float and it ends up being that that's what it is. So I'm going to do a first scan for 100 and then I'm going to take some damage and I'm not going to hit escape. I'm just going to alt tab out. All right, so I'm going to take some damage here. All right, there we go. 86. Alt tab. Search for 86. Next scan. Okay. So one of these uh, should be our health. So you could bring them each down. I'll start with this bottom one. Try to set it to a 999. Now we'll go take some damage and see if we go back up to 100 or so. Yep, it did go back up. So that one looks like our health value. So now what I'm gonna do is go find what accesses this address. It's gonna attach the debugger, you say yes. And here we have these two. So now I am going to hit escape. All right, and now we have this one instruction here that keeps accessing our health. Okay, so this is going to get a little bit into the advanced territory, but um, basically we are going to inject in this instruction and have this. Um, write our max health to current health. So we will always be writing our max health to our health address. So no matter how high up we level or whatever, that will scale accordingly. Okay, But we also need to uh, individualize the player from everything else that this instruction uh, reads, all the other addresses it reads, because this is a shared instruction. So if I go stop and show disassembler okay and we can right click here and go find out what addresses this instruction accesses this is uh well let's change this from four bytes to float okay that's our health this is our health address right so now when we unpause the game and now pause it again you can see it was starting to populate this with tons of stuff Okay, but we know that, uh, we'll go ahead and stop it. We know that this is our health address. Okay, so now what we need to do is find some sort of differentiator for ourselves. Okay, so we need to differentiate the player and then we need to find max health and then we need to move max health into current health. Okay, if it's the player only. All right, so how do we do that? Well what we can do is select a few addresses here right click go open dissect data with selected addresses okay and you can just say okay here and click okay again and you can say yes here and click okay again and so now what cheat engine will do here with what you've done there is see this plus one nine zero Actually, looks like my magnifier isn't magnifying, so let me get that fixed. Okay, so um, <clears throat> there we go. Uh, RBP plus 190. All right, that's offset 190. So Cheat Engine, when it populates these, will subtract that offset and start it at the base address. So you will have to go to whatever offset it references. So if we go to 190 here, we will see our health. Okay, and we'll see a couple other things that look like health for whatever these are. But what we can do is uh, click up in here and then hit Control G to create a new group. All right, we'll call this enemy or other rather because we don't know what they are. And then click over here and then hit Control A, which will add a second one. And now we can copy and paste the first one here, copy and paste the second one here click in here and delete address and then do the same thing with this one. Alright, so now we have two groups here. Group 1 is our 
uh, whatever this base address is related to our player, whatever base of the structure that this offset 190 exists in. And then these two are their own group for we don't know what these reference. Okay, So we know that this is our health. All right, and we know that our max health right now is 100. And typically max health is very close in memory to current health. Well, if we look up here, we see this value of 100 nearby our health, right? So we can assume that that's max health, all right? Now, the next thing we want to do is look for a purple value, okay? Because purple in Sheet Engine, in here, in the structure dissect, means um, a, a differentiator, okay? And so, uh, in relation to groups, right? So, in this group, these values are the same, right? These two that we don't know what they are, they're both zero. But then here, we have a value for where the player is, all right? And it's the same here. But we'll try uh, offset 178. Okay, so we want to make our cheat um, look for zero at this offset. If it is zero, then it means it's something that we don't know. So just run the code as you normally would if it's zero. If it's not zero, then look at this offset and get that value, which is max health, and write it to current health. All right, so that's what our cheat is going to be. So what we can do is uh, here where this instruction is, make sure you click on it and go Tools, Auto Assemble, Template, AOB Injection, click OK. We'll call this INF Health for Infinite Health. OK. And I'll just tidy that up. All right, so the first thing that we want to do is push F. There is a flags register, and it is in relation to keeping track of a bunch of different things like equality and um, just a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, push F means push flags onto the stack to preserve the flags register, okay? Because what we're going to do is compare RBP plus, uh, was it 188? Oh, let's see, where's that structure dissect? Here we go. 178. We're going to compare that. Sorry, my headphones make noise here sometimes. So, anyway, okay, compare that to zero. All right. Jump if equal at forward. This is called an anonymous label. And if you do at F, it will look forward in code for a double at like that. You can also do at B and it'll look for an at uh, farther back. And so it's kind of a nice way to sort of do modern type of programming stuff in assembly really quick. I mean you could create labels and have it jump there and all that but this is just a kind of a quick way to do it in line here. Alright so jump if equal at F Okay, so basically we're preserving the flags, we're comparing to zero. If it is zero, we just want it to jump here and then keep doing what it would normally do. We're going to add one little thing here and pop F. That will restore uh, the flags register. Okay, so it'll look like we didn't even come in here and do anything. We're nice and balanced. Okay, if the jump doesn't happen, then we want to move this value at 188, offset 188, okay, move um, RBP plus 188. We're going to move that into the register EAX because here EAX is going to contain the value that's in uh, our health memory address, right? So whatever is before, whatever is in EAX before this point right now where we are doesn't matter. So with this, I don't have to worry about preserving a register or any of that stuff. We can just use EAX. So we're going to move 
max health into EAX. And then we are going to move into RBP plus 190, which is our current health, EAX. See, what you can't do is this. RBP plus 190, RBP plus 188. You can't move something from one memory address into another memory address, unfortunately. You have to, if you're going to do a move in relation to a memory address, it has to be moved into a register or from a register. Okay, so we're moving max health into this register and then we're moving that value into current health. And so now execution will just continue through here, right? You don't need to worry about this. Uh, it will pop the flags and restore that. And then for the normal instruction, if we came through here with our custom code, this will have our max health uh, in our current health at that point. And hopefully that's all she wrote. Okay. So now you will go file, assign the current cheat table. Okay. I'm going to close this, close that, close this, close that. All right. And this would be the infinite health script. And as you can see here, it's exactly what I did there. Okay. So I'll just enable it from here and go resume. And now let's see what happens. Let me go run in here. All right. You see health is 100. All these guys are trying to light me up. We can just go in here and have a field day. And then this guy with the huge gun, uh, these would be wrecking us right now if we didn't have infinite health. So you can just roll in and handle your business. All right. So that's it. That's infinite health. And uh, yeah, so far we've got infinite ammo, infinite health. I showed you how to give yourself infinite money. And then coming up, I'm going to work on some of the experience and skill point perk point whatever related stuff so uh, go check out my github where I'll have this cheat table so you can download this and just use it if you want and uh, yeah I'll just pick up with doing more stuff either I might go ahead and head to bed because it's 1 a.m. here <laughs> but I'll pick up with this uh, tomorrow and yeah anyway I appreciate you watching if you enjoyed the video give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe and I will talk to you all in the next video. Take care.